Apples are imported, pomegranates are imported, grapes are imported. It means we have a whole lot of market to take charge of if we can come together and grow these things. The good thing is that when you have a garden, especially a home garden, nothing is a waste. You can look around, some plants are in tires, some are in broken buckets, some are in broken plastics. You put anything around you to use. I visited pick and pay farms in UK and then the Royal Botanical Gardens in Kew. Then the Eden Project in Cornwall. I've seen what those things look like, but I think we should do it here. <laughs> this is Dr. Kimpian Dashi, and this is a farm. Like the mangoes. I should have like 10 or more varieties. The apples, there's raspberries, pomegranates, so on and on. I tell you that anything I see, I, strawberries, yes. She shows how wonderful it is to grow your own fruit at home. She transformed her backyard into a special place filled with amazing fruits like apple, pomegranate, grapes, oranges, strawberry, and other exotic fruits. So we're going to see more of the pomegranates in this section of the garden. So these are bigger pomegranates. Wow. You can see more fruits. See, one imported pomegranate, I bought it because I needed one of the varieties that I don't have. One fruit, 3,000 naira. When we can grow it here, Apart from the fruit, you know, uh, at some point I started selling the seedlings, the one you can buy and go and plant. In fact, now I think that's the bigger market. In fact, people that don't own the building will buy and grow in containers so that when they move, they move with their plants and so on. Uh, so, like, uh, because of apple seedlings, People started calling to ask me about this fruit uh, in, in Kenya. The dragon. Yes, the dragon fruit. And I was like, what is dragon fruit? I don't know anything <laughs> about it. But right now, I want to assure you, I have dragon fruit. You have dragon fruit. <laughs> wow. I have the one that I germinated from seed. Mm. And then I have the seedling that came from Kenya. So this is the dragon fruit from Kenya. Okay, it looks like cactus. This is Kirana. Yes, yes, it is cactus. Mm. Uh, so you can see, when they brought it, it's just this part that was brought. Mm. But now you can see, this is growth that has happened within the last one month. So th that is how gradually you're diversifying because you you want to meet your customers' demand. People are asking, where can we get dragon fruit? In a, and I go to, the, go to other gardens and ask and they don't have. Then I now begin to think, okay, how do we get this here? So that's how I brought tamarillo. That's how the dragon fruit is here. So people are asking for blueberries, asking so gradually that's how the thing is expanding. Then if we go here, mm. we go in here, these are apples. Apples. Yes. So here I have two things, apples and raspberries. Unfortunately, I told you that this year we have issues with climate change. Mm. So you may not... There were one or two, very mm. few, but I think we've eaten them up. <laughs> <laughs> So all of these are... Okay, so this is, is this the least the apple tree could grow? No, or they grow we, higher we than actually this? prune them. They can grow to be a tree. Okay. Uh, we actually prune them. So you can see this one is beginning to flower. Okay. But uh, very soon we'll be pruning. Mm. Then by middle of next year, mm. if you come here, you'll just see so many fruit. Sometimes we need to tie and support the fruit support so that they don't fall. break the branch. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. I mm. also told you that we have raspberries yes. here. Oh, this is the plant. Yes, this is the plant. 
This will be my first time tasting raspberry. Okay, yeah. so this is raspberries. Mm. It's so the, sweet. Yeah, mm. it's really nice. One one kilogram of raspberries is ten thousand. One kilogram of this. Yes, because uh, I put them in small small packs of two two hundred grams, and each small pack is two thousand naira. Mm. And you have people queuing up waiting for when they will get how often do you harvest this during the rainy season i think maybe twice in a week or twice in a week, in a week. yes mm. i would want to say that being that it's a garden mm. it's okay that you you have a wide range of these fruits because in you know they say one man's food another man's poison so you need to meet your customers demand their interest and everything. When you have one stand of grape like this, just this one stand, it fruits twice in a year. And on this one stand, you can have up to 20 kilograms of grapes twice in a year. Wow. And one kilogram mm. of this grape, one kilogram of this grape is at the farm gate is 2500 mm. so just do it's a simple math mm. 2500 assuming all you get is even just 20 kg mm. times 20 wow. just four stands mm. 20 kg of from each, each of the stands mm. this one you you you're not doing plowing Mm. You're not doing all the processes. I'm not saying we should not grow maize, yes. but I'm telling you that instead of frowning at seeing agriculture as difficult, I want I just want you to see that it is very income generating mm -hmm. without so much stress. Mm. All I do in a year is to go and buy a bag of cow dung because I realize that grapes like cow dung. And I'll just come and pour everything here. Mm -hmm. Now, growing these things, you may wonder as a young person, okay, I don't have land. Let me tell you, if you just germinate apple seeds, you can sell the seedlings. Somebody just germinating apple seeds without grafting or anything, I buy one for 3000 and even more. Just germinating the seed and raising the seedling is a business on its own for Nigerian youth. Mm. That's one. The grafted apple seedling is 10,000. So learning the whether you go to school or not, we can do it and we can take charge of this market in Nigeria. You can see they're inside buckets. Mm. That's why yeah. I'm saying that even if it is not your house, mm. you may say you're young. Mm. Or you don't have the, the or space. Or you don't have the space. Mm. But I adopted this from a pick and pay farm I went to in UK. They grew them in buckets. Mm. And that's what I'm doing. There's very high demand for fruits because I think that gradually Nigerians are getting more and more aware of the need for fruits in the diet. I you know. The, the adage that uh, an apple a day keeps you away from the doctor. You know, when you localize it, we say an orange a day keeps you away from the doctor. And that is a fact. So more and more Nigerians are getting aware of that. So fruit consumption is increasing. People are adding it to their diet. So that's why it's very important. I told you that we have different types of, of citrus. Yeah. This is Tanjalo. It is an easy to peel orange. So when you walk in the garden, you just have one. Mm. And you just peel it and you <laughs> have your fruit. <laughs> wow. Then here we have the orange orange. This is one tree. Uh, this is different from the tangelo. No, this this is Ibadan sweet. This is sweet orange. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the usual orange we buy yes, from the market. Yes, this is the usual orange that we buy from the market. Okay. 
So, uh, and I told you that that's the one that they buy and go and compare with the one they import. Yes. Uh -huh. And then one dozen, 500, it was 500, but I think this year we started selling a dozen, 600 naira. Yeah. Like the citrus family, they're basically 1,500. I mean, anybody can dash you that, uh, and you can grow it in a container, and it will produce fruit. And then, you know, when you wait that until you can do big, it makes it difficult. And personally, I don't believe in hectareage farming. Not that I cannot do it, but now think about it. When are you going to buy the hectares? But you know, when you do small, small, and you expand, Small, small. One day you will have a hectare. Mm, that's so that's what I did. Now, do you know that we've gotten to a point where even in the teaching hospital, we have doctors that are interested in food as Medical medicine. Doctors. Yes, in food as medicine. So they want a situation where when you come to the hospital, they will be able to say, go and eat so so and so fruit in this proportion mm. instead of giving you synthetic medicine. medicine so that's why i said it's a big market for us i will say what advice would you give to the young farmer it's not just an ad advice so i'm calling on the youth nigerian youth we can make it on the farm. Whether you go to school or not, my husband, I told you, is a computer scientist. He graphs apples and other things. And he graphs with like 98% success, if not 100%. So we can do it and we can take charge of this market in Nigeria and we will make it. So my own is a very big call. I'm calling on Nigerian youths yeah. to come. You will either raise the seedlings if you don't have the farm, you will make it there, or you can grow it wherever you are, in containers. Anyhow, we can earn a living from growing these fruit trees. So do you believe farming is the future? Seriously, <laughs> seriously. You wouldn't believe that. It's not my salary that is paying my children's school fees. It is from the farm. So it is our future. So my takeout from this video is that you don't need a lot to start your own garden. As you can see, she started growing these exotic fruits in nylon, broken plastic, sacks and then later transplants them. If you're interested in videos like this, I have more of them coming. So stay tuned and subscribe. Support the channel so that we can grow and make better videos. I'll see you in the next video.